morning. What's going on, YouTube? What's going on? This is Gwen's Boy Mindset coming at you. Hope everybody had a good weekend. I want to talk to you today about common sense. <laughs> when common sense ain't the new norm, man. It's not normal. People find it strange when you do common sense things. Case in point, I never understood this. And I told you my topics are gonna be on everything outside the norm. Sometimes I'll talk about fitness. Sometimes I'll talk about life stuff. It, it's gonna be, it's, it, there's not a certain topic that I stay on. So um, every day it's gonna be something different. But it's gonna be something that makes you wonder or maybe think about. So, a perfect example where common sense isn't normal for some people is two people who have a kid together and they get along. They include each other in everything. They're not fussing and fighting. They're not putting the courtrooms in the middle of their business because they created that kid together. They're not making it, up. they're not putting the judicial system in there because the judicial system wasn't there when they actually created that child. So they're having enough common sense and adult matureness to raise that kid, even though they're separate, they're raising that kid together because they realize, hey, we made this kid together. We're pretty much on the same team for this kid. And then what type of message are we sending to that child? One thing I love about my mom, she said nothing negative to me and my brother about our dad, never. Even though he was nowhere in our life, he was nowhere active in our life, there's not one negative thing that that woman ever said. She never dragged his name through the mud. She never made him look bad in our eyes. She never did anything. What I love about the respect of that strong black woman who was my mother, who passed away in December 2018, she did it all on her own, pretty much. If she had to go to anybody, she went to family, you know? And um, not one, now I can't tell you guys one bad thing my mom has ever told me about my father because I'd be lying, I'm, then I'm making up stuff. Um, in today's world, it's total from the opposite. The dollar sign is more important than the relationship between a child and a father, vice versa. Everything's about the money. And here's the thing, and it, this is just common sense, but you know common sense isn't normal. A three-year-old, four-year-old child don't know, don't even have the concept of money. They want love and they want attention. They want to know where mom and daddy is, where mommy go, where daddy go, where's daddy, when, when am I going to see daddy, when am I going to see, you know, that's what they care about. We as parents and as people, the adults, who's supposed to be doing the right thing for our children, we make it about us. It's about our bitterness, it's about what they did, it's about the past, it's about holding a grudge, it's about being unforgiving. It's about us putting our feelings before the needs of our child. Please let's not even argue and say that that's not going on. All of us know somebody who doesn't have common sense, who has the maturity of a two or three year old, who is putting the other party and making it very inconvenient for them to have a relationship with their kid because they want to do what they want to do. Kudos for the real women that stay in the same state of the father and things of that nature. That's a real, that's, that, that, that's, that's being an adult. That's putting the needs of that child first. You know, some may argue that point. I'm like, you know what? Bottom line is, my mom always told me, once you have that kid, it ain't no longer about you. My mom told me over and over again, once you have a child, it's no longer about you. <laughs> you are way on the back burner and that child is at the forefront of everything. But do we actually do that in our individual lives? Why is it when a man or woman break up, go their separate ways, they gotta be enemies for the next 17 years when it comes to being uh, two parents who created that child together? Why does one have to act as if they are superior than the other? It takes two people to create a child. 
You can't create that child without one or the other thing. It's darn near impossible. So why is it that we act like enemies? Are we, so, so you're acting like enemies because the relationship went back. The relationship is over. It's, it's old news. It's water on the bridge. But you're still harboring and carrying over those things with that other person, making it extremely harder for this person to have a relationship with their kid. You make it difficult. You make it uh, very uncomfortable. Then you got people who didn't even have that kid with you, who you knew, the new person that you're seeing trying to uh, shoot their shot and, and say, like, first of all, you didn't, you, 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 you didn't, you got nothing to do with them having that kid together, okay? That's their, that's pretty much their business. And if they need your advice, I'm pretty much sure they will ask you for it and then you can chime in. But that's not, you know, that's common sense. And uh, for the people, the mature parents out there who aren't using the kids as pawns, as a, you know, like, you know, uh, uh, like their pawns, uh, their chess pieces on the chessboard, Kudos to you parents, you real women and men out there who are truly putting your kids first. Kudos to the parents who, who, who know what the word family is truly about. Kudos to those parents who have enough common sense in a world where common sense isn't always common. You see, here's the thing. People with common sense are considered strange. People are doing things contrary to what society and the world is doing is considered odd. Then people get mad because you're doing it in a mature way and you're not doing it maturely. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they get mad at you because you're doing things from, common, from, the, from a common sense realm. You know? See, we live in a world where common sense isn't always common. It's pretty much common sense is looked at as abnormal. You know, and so that's just like taking care of your body. That's looked at as strange, like, oh, it doesn't take all that. Well, I want to live. I want to work out. How many days you work out? I work out three to four days a week. Oh, that's too much. Why not just once or twice a week or whatever the case may be? See, common sense, we live in a world where common sense isn't always common. Common sense is looked at as abnormal. Because you try to do something in a mature way, people think you're crazy. Because you try to do something in a mature way, people think you odd. Because you try to do things in a mature way, people think, oh, you know, why, do, why, you, why are you doing it that way? I mean, um, what's wrong with you? Because I choose to be mature about a situation opposed to immature the way, in an immature way of the way you thinking, then I'm odd. The parents who are raising their kids separate but together and they're being cordial and they're being nice and they're being kind and respectful towards one another, people on the outside that find that is strange. People on the outside find that as if, oh man, there, there, there gotta be something going on between those two people. Why? Because they're trying to set an example for their child to see, hey, this is how you get along even though you're not together, they're sending a positive message. Why is that positivity is always looked at as strange to people? That's positive. We live in a negative world. That's why positivity is so strange to a lot of people. Because we live in such a negative world. If it ain't negative, they don't understand it. If it's not dramafied, they don't understand it. If it makes common sense, they don't get it. If it's cordial, they they scratching their head. If two people are trying to get along for the sake of their child, people are wondering, oh, what are they, they, they trying to get together? Because you feeble-minded individual, you immature-minded individual, you no common sense individual, because you think in a negative way, the way society thinks, doesn't mean two people who are trying to be cordial and do the right thing for the sake of their child to send an example, to send a correct message so their child can grow up knowing that, you know, not all parents are um, darn near fighting and screaming and yelling and cursing and, 
and, and trying to make things very, very difficult for them to have a relationship with their child because they're doing something in a mature way, you people find it strange. You immature people find it strange. You dramified people find it strange. You people who have no common sense find it strange. That's the world we live in. Common sense is the new abnormal. <laughs> People, let me tell you something, man. It takes a lot more work to be negative um, than it is to take to do be positive. You know, you get a lot more going forward with positivity than you do with negativity. And common sense is very abnormal for some people, and they don't get it. They they just don't get it. But kudos to the people with common sense that do get it, you know? So it's, you know, it's strange to a lot of people that people take care of their bodies the way they do or they eat right the way they do. It's easier when it comes to fitness to not do nothing than it is to do something. Doing something takes work. Doing something takes planning. Doing something takes being strategic. Doing something takes preparation. Doing nothing, there's no preparation in doing nothing. There's no effort in doing nothing. That's not even no thinking of doing nothing. See, it's easy not to do some, nothing for when it comes to your body than it is to do something. Doing something requires work. Discipline, dedication, drive, motivation, inspiration. Doing something takes effort. So it's easy not to do something. Again, common sense is the new abnormal. <laughs> but I digress. That's that Monday tone setter. The tone setter for Monday, today, is to, you need to activate your common sense. Think positive. I posted something today that it's not training the body that's hard, it's what's training the mind that's hard. That's the thing you have to train on a daily basis, the mind. So, I'm going to leave you with that. Train your mind every single day. Think outside the box. Try to be more mature than immature because it takes immaturity, drama, that's just, there's no effort in doing that. Just don't, just don't be positive and you, 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 you fall right into that. Don't really take no effort. Common sense is the new abnormal for a lot of people. Listen, man, y'all stay up. That's all I got. Um, check me out on Wednesday. From that neck up for the checkup, see how y'all guys are doing on the uh, um, on the hump day, and that's it. This is Gwen's boy mindset out. I'll start judging people once I'm perfect. Two, I'll never be perfect, so you never have to worry about me judging you. So, listen, people, that's what it's all about. Start using common sense. That's all you gotta do. I'll check you guys on the flip. Peace.